thing, when you're not given an equation, the best thing you guys need to do is graph it. Plot the points, plot what you're given. So we just say an ellipse. We don't know if the ellipse has a major axis that's horizontal or the major axis is vertical. So I'm going to plot what I'm given. So I say we have two foci, though, at 0, 2, and at 0, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Right? Now, what is dead center in between the two foci? Right? Which is what we call the, the center, right? Is between the two foci. The center is also in between the two vertices, correct? So therefore, our center is going to be at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, so we know foci, foci, center. right? And that's just by plotting it. So that's very helpful, because now let's write them down. So our center is then at 0, 5. right? And that's going to help us when writing the equation. That's your h and your k. Now remember, what is the distance c? c is the distance from the center to the foci which now we know where the center is, we can say this um, c is 1, 2, 3, right? So c equals 3. Now, c is not going to be helpful in writing the equation, but it's going to be helpful in us finding b, which we need to write the equation. All right, so now we have a is 10. All right, so what we remember, if you know the center is halfway, if the center is halfway um, between your two vertices, they're saying the major axis from one vertice to the next is 10. That means to find the next vertice. So to go from the center to a, a vertice, I have to travel not 10 units, but I have to travel 5, right? So and remember, the major axis, the foci, the center, and the vertices all lie in it. So let's go 5 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now I've just determined what the two vertices are. And double check, vertices are 10. So therefore, if 2a equals 10, a equals 5, which we already kind of knew. All right. So now the last thing we need to do to write the equation, we just need to figure out b. So we go back to how does a, b, and c relate to each other? a squared equals b squared plus c squared. a squared is 25. Um, b squared we don't know. c squared is 9. Minus 9, minus 9, 16 equals b squared. That's all we need to figure out. So now. Let's determine this. Is our major axis horizontal or vertical? Vertical. So therefore, the a is going to be under the x or the y? The y. So we have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared. And we have b squared over a squared equals 1. Right? So that's our formula we're going to use. And now we know what our h and our k are. We know our a and now our, we know our a squared and our b squared. So let's write the equation. So x minus 0, so it's just going to be x squared over b squared, which is 16, plus y minus 5 squared over a squared, which is 25, equals 1. That's it. OK? All right. Um, so ladies and gentlemen, um, I'd like you to be.